Okay, good morning. Good morning, Carol. Thank you. So, uh, I will tell a little bit my story. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but I used to be a dancer. And when I started really young, but when I was 13, I was totally like fascinated with this kind of old vintage musical kind of Amer North American movie. And then when I started uh, doing tap dance. But the strange thing is that when I arrived here, all people that when they tell like, I'm a tap dancer, they're like, okay, do something. And I was like, not now. Uh, so today, because of these questions in this school, and because, I don't know, if you want to be like a tap dancer or like musical person, theater person, today I will explain how to tap dance. Wow. wow. So let's start. So I will tell a little bit about the main step, because the main step is not difficult. It's quickly and simple steps that you do, and then when you make combinations of them, you have movements. And that's when I will show a little bit of an example that how you can do a movement. And then I will tell about uh, some tips that will help you to improve your tap dance and it's going to be a really good dance. So, let's start. It's, here is the, all the, it's 10, but it's really quickly and really simple. You, you're going you're gonna to see. So the first one is what we call stop. You just have to do this. This is a stop. Touch the floor and put up. The second is what we call a stamp. It's like a stone, but you keep your foot on the floor. And you have to change a little bit your weight. But this is a stamp. The, uh, the number three is what we call a stamp. You just touch the, the floor and change your weight. So it's like this. And then you can do this and stop. And the other one it was we call leap. It's a uh, changing weight and you do like this, always changing your weight for the right and left leg. The other one is what we call hold, it's just jump. It's simple. And the other one is rush, you just like kick the floor. And you can do this for front and back. This is a brush. The crab row is a little bit difficult because you have to, to listen for sounds. So it's one your your front of their, your foot, so it's just like right, left, and then your heels, right and left, and quickly you do this, and you have to listen for sounds. Uh, the more than one is flat, it's when you kick the floor and put your feet back on the, your foot back on the floor, so it's like this, and you can do this back too. change it's like the word you change your balance so it's but it's quickly you have to just change your balance and the last in the other one it's shuffle it's like two brush kick front kick back kick front kick front kick back and you do this quickly <laughs> so now I explain the main steps with the now you are a top dance a tap dancer it's easy. So now I will explain like a movement combination with this many steps. So for example, you start doing a step, and you lift your your foot, and then you do a stomp, and after that a hold. Then you do a shuffle. It's to kicking the floor, and then you change your weight, both balancing changing, and then you do a flip. And practicing, you do this. Easy, wow, simple. simple, very, very, very okay. easy. So now you can see, like with the main steps, really easy. You can do a really fast and practicing movements, and that's well how we tap dance. So tips that to improve your tap dance: pay attention to writing, because I'm not with the the right the real shoes. But they make really a really noisy sound if you don't pay attention to music. It's gonna be really hurt your ears if you hurt different writing. Uh, smile because nobody knows what's happening here. 
So if you smile, you don't show that you made a mistake, nobody will know. Uh, and of course, it's threat. It's an activity. And if you need to stretch before and after an activity. Uh, and show energy. Because all the movement is here. So you need to show energy that you're happy and, <laughs> and you're dancing. So show energy. Uh, also, you can use your arms and hands to keep the balance. Because there's people that are not really um, coordinate. So when you use your arms, you can keep your balance better. So we'll help you. And always, always, always keep your knees bent. Because it's a really stress to your knees. So if you, if you do those, all the stress is going to be to your knees. So if you keep them straight, it's going to hurt. So keep all, all the time them bent. So I just told you how to tap that. So the main steps, uh, the movements combination. So now you can dance combination, all the main steps, and the tips that will help you to improve your tap dance. Uh, now I will show a video from my company. I used to dance in this company, and it's the most important uh, choreographer that we made. And then you can see all the people here, I think the oldest one, they're like 20. So you can see like everybody can do this. <laughs> 